Hi guys, long time no see. Liam here. Um, it's been, I think, about five, six weeks since my last video, so I'm well overdue. I do apologise. Um, I'm just giving you an update on my chili plants. It's a little bit overgrown in here at the moment. This is my original greenhouse. Uh, I'll just try and step back a bit so I can show you what's going on. On the side here, I've still got my three KM plants. I think in the last video I just started getting some pods coming through. Well, I've got plenty of chilies all over on the KM plants at the moment. I've even got a couple just starting to ripen off at the moment. If you can see the sort of red tip, bit of a black colour coming through. Another one down here that's starting to ripen off. Most of them are green. They're looking a little bit wilted at the moment. I've just given them a water so in a couple of hours they'll certainly perk up. Uh, as I say, it's getting very overcrowded in this greenhouse. It is also getting overcrowded in the other one as well. But, um, at the back is the Chili Pepper Fuego. This one's confusing me because if I step back again, you can see it's getting quite tall. It's about four and a half foot tall. And I've only just, if I can get it to focus. No, I can't. I've only just started getting a few flower pods on it now. No sign of any petals yet, just the flower pods. Uh, this is the chocolate habanero that I moved from the other greenhouse into this greenhouse. This one's also confused me because it did start putting off a few flowers about three, four weeks ago and then they all dropped off. Um, I think it might have just been the change because this, this greenhouse gets a bit more sun compared to the last one. Uh, the newest addition to the family is a Dorset Naga plant. I went to a chili festival yesterday and cheated and bought this one. But I, when I bought it, I counted up. You can see the nice Naga chili on there, Dorset Naga. This plant's actually got about 30 pods on it already. Um, nice, healthy looking plant. It's got so many flowers on it. It's got the potential for loads more pods as well, which I'm happy about. Uh, Super Romital. I think, again, when I spoke to you guys last, I just started getting a few flowers on this one. Now, this one really does live up to its name because being a Super Romital, look at the size of these bad boys. I've got a few massive chilies on here. I only have got one, two, three, four, five. I did have another one, but something bit into it and left a big hole, so I had to cut it off. But that's doing really well. At the back, if I can get in here, again, I'm sorry, it's overcrowded. Um, it was the Bulgarian hot carrot plant. Uh, well, it still is the Bulgarian hot carrot plant, but I've only just started getting a couple more new chilies coming through like that. I harvested all the other ones because they ripened off. I think there's about four or five new pods coming off at the moment, which I'm happy about. Jalapenos on this side. Um, a few couple of little pods coming out there. I think this was the first one that came out. This one at the back, if I can fight for the leaves to show you. There you go. Sorry, not the best quality. Although it is quite a good camera, so I'm not sure why I haven't got very good quality, but hey. Quite a few flowers. Other, other pods coming off, some nice pods there, a couple of decent pods. If I can move past the leaf, a couple of pods at the back. The jalapenos, I'm not sure how to leave them on because I know that they don't always ripen off, but uh, quite a few flower pods up there as well. So that's the first greenhouse. I'll walk you over to the second. Oh, cucumber plant by the way. As you can see, some nice sized cucumbers in there. That's that's my wife's job, she's dealing with the cucumber plant. I'll show you the tomato plants quick, although there's not a lot of point because I think they're pretty much dead. So I'm not expecting anything from them. Greenhouse number two, if I give you the, the view from stood back a bit, as you can see, quite overpopulated. Uh, chocolate habanero plant here. It's only been the last week I've actually managed to get a pod coming off it. It had loads of flowers, they've been dropping off quite a bit, but it does look like it's going to start podding. Uh, a scotch bonnet at the back. God, it looks really overcrowded on this video. This scotch bonnet take, took a long time to even produce any any flowers. But as you can see now, there are some pods coming off it. A small one there, slightly bigger one just back there. Quite a few flowers. They seem to be pollinating really easily. Quite happy about. Hey, Jacob. Say hello, Jacob. Yeah. That's my boy. Uh, another cane plant at the back. Not that you can really see it. I've got a few. They're really thin. These cane chilies coming off this one. Really thin. It's it's been. Doc stuffing. Doc stuffing. Yeah. Okay. 
um, a Scotch bonnet in the middle here. This one did put off a couple of flowers, pretty much the same time as the other one. But then the flowers seem to disappear and I've just been left with one pod growing. But one pod's better than none, I suppose. Another cayenne down there at the back with a few flowers on, but it's a bit stunted in growth. It's only a couple of foot high and I'm entirely sure it's actually got any flowers, um, sorry, any, any pods come off it. It might have a couple, but... Oh yeah, I can see a couple of small ones. Uh, down here at the front, two habanero plants. They're both regular habaneros. I've had plenty of flowers come off these, but no pods as of yet because the flowers keep dropping off. Most of the flowers are under the canopy there, as you can see. Loads of flowers hanging down. Uh, cayenne plant. This one's got a few coming off. In fact, there's even a one that looks a little bit mutated in here. I'm trying to think if I can find it. See, this is one of them. You can see. Uh, can you see that? It's got a bit of a weird sort of cusp coming off at the top, which is a bit strange. And then, if you can make them out in amongst all this, I have a, another habanero plant at the side here, which did have quite a few pods just pushing through the plants, but they all dropped off. Uh, I think I come out this morning and loads of them were just on the floor. I'll try and give you the above view, because oh, it's really overcrowded in here. I need another greenhouse, but we just haven't got the room in the garden. And a big sun scotch bonnet at the back that dropped all its flowers quite a while ago and hasn't bothered putting out any more since. It is a nice big plant, healthy looking plant, but no flowers. Um, I'll just move you now to the uh, plants I've got inside. Prairie Fire, one of the indoor indoor plants I've got. It's a dwarf chilli plant, there's quite a few small chilies on. As you can see, some of them are ripening into red. I've got green ones, I've got orange ones. They do seem to go to this vibrant red colour when they're finished ripening. I've got some of them in the freezer where I've harvested them already. Uh, these are some of my super hot so I wasn't expecting to do anything and if you got to the top there you can see they're already giving off some flowers this one's not only giving off flowers but it's also putting off some really thin looking chilies I don't quite understand what they are yet there was a mixed bag of seeds so I don't know what they're going to produce this one's a Carolina Reaper plant where I've got flowers at the top or not quite flowers yet but there will be couple more super hots, they're putting off some more flowers as well. I haven't repotted them to the bigger pots yet though. A couple more super hots again, putting off some flowers at the top. Not doing much more than that. And a chili pepper nazu plant, which has had quite a few ripening off. I think this, this is the colour they go to when they're nice and ripe, sort of cherry tomato looking. I've had a few off that that I've frozen and put in the freezer. Uh, I'll take you through the other room to see the other three. And here's the other three. These are all Carolina Reapers. Um, not quite as big as the other one in the other room because they were in smaller plot pots to begin with. Can't quite figure out what's going on with these. I'm assuming it's sun scorch or something. I've got some some very poorly looking leaves. I've got just got brown spots on and things like that. No flower pots coming off these yet. They look relatively healthy other than the damaged leaves. I don't think there's anything wrong with them as such. But again, these are about. I want to say about 10 weeks old now, something like that. I wasn't expecting them to grow quite as much as they have done in the last few weeks, but they've done alright. I apologise if any parts of this video have been poor quality. I've just kind of done it in a rush because I know I needed to do an update. So thanks for watching, guys.